Go down to Panther Express. You gotta go down that way. Yeah. No, to be honest. What flavor do you want? Uh, do they got if if they don't have chicken get chicken, if they don't have chicken get chicken. No, to be honest. They don't have both. The one thing I always learn about relationships, no matter what happens to the relationship, spicy chicken. Your friends are still there, you know. Because that's what, like I say with crew, I was like, crew, no matter what happens in any of your relationships. They're gonna, if Does they leave, I'm gonna though? be here. Oh shit. Does anybody have headphones? Yeah. Oh, Jonesy would have, and I have That's no why idea I hate when Jonesy people would've. like put their friends aside for who they're with. No, because your friends are still there when that person's gone. That's why, like, when I'm in a relationship, who comes first in all my relationships? Because she's gonna be there after all my relationships fuck up. That's only, and everyone, that's what Thomas hated that I put crew first. I was like, well, if we ever break up, I'm still gonna have crew. So I'm gonna put her first because I know I'm gonna have her. Because I know 100% sure I'm going to have her, maybe 50% I'm going to still be with this person. So it's like, I'm still going to keep my 100%. See, that's, it's not the kind of thing I kind of disagree with because that person in your life may be there, but when you, you got with that person for a reason. So you're going to, you need to show them as much respect and, and as much attention as the person that you know who's gonna be there for the rest of your life as a girl. No, I mean like, no, I mean like, I mean like, if I have a problem, sometimes I won't tell the person I'm with. I'll tell Prue. Because like, honestly, like I used to do that with Thomas. Like if I had a problem, I wouldn't tell Thomas. I'd be telling Prue. That's why he, like, when I was upset, I don't want to talk to that person because if I blow up at that person, I don't want them to see me blow up at them. But if I blow up at Prue, she's used to me blowing up at them. me, girl, you better back up off my eyes. Hey, you got your you know nuts. What I mean, Hold on a second here. You can have that. You I'm got on, your nuts. Oh, you know oh. what I mean? I okay. Well, because, like, if you think about it, it's like the whole point of a relationship is to show each other's emotions. Well, I know that, but I'm just saying But it's like, but it's like if you have to constantly go to the person that's outside of your relationship, that's an outside influence. That person right there is the person that is going to be there, but sometimes their advice always isn't the best advice. In order for you to have your relationship grow and for you guys to prosper together, it's for you two, not that outside person. Yes, it's your friend, and yes, you care about them, and yes, they may have good points and stuff, but that's for you and your partner to decide, hey, yes, I have blown up at you, but I need you to see how I really feel. Well, I know that, that both. That right I there. Understand, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Like, 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 when me and Thomas were together and he do something to piss me off, and sometimes, I, and sometimes, sometimes what I need, to, I need to cool to down to cool or I'm going to say some stupid shit to him that I shouldn't say. But with proof, I'm mad at someone and I can blow up to her and she knows. Like, if I, say, if I get mad at her and I blow up on her, she knows I don't mean it. But a lot of times I blow up in Thomas and he take it to heart. So I would take, I'd go to her because I knew she knows I wouldn't take it to heart. So I'd sit there, let all my emotion out with her instead of have him bitch at me saying, why are you being mean? Why are you being mean? And then when I'm calm, she goes, okay, just talk to him, tell him this. Then I go and talk to him calmly and we'd work it out. But that's why I go and to sometimes, her. And sometimes you do need to take a step back and be like, you know what? I'm going to say something that's going to really hurt We're, you. Exactly. And I need to take that time out mm. and be like, you know what? I agree. Huh? Nothing. What? what? She doesn't all need I to know. know. Like, I know. all I know is that when it comes to relationships, this is how this is how I think of relationships. I think of relationships as a two-way street, and then you have this one street, and then you have another street. You need to choose which street you gonna go down. You gonna go down the hey, I'm a fuck you over road, or hey, I want you and I to prosper. We're gonna be together, road. If you can't, if you're so damn confused on which one you want to go, then, then you, you have, you, your ass need to stay right there in the middle of the center divide and stay there until you can decide what you need to do. Until that red light turn green <laughs> on the left or right side, nigga, you ain't going to go nowhere. Your ass okay. is just going to stay right there on pause Let me explain until that. you press play. Let me explain another example. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this. Moment. She gonna cough up her noodles. They gonna come out of her nose, and it's gonna come out on camera. Alright, okay. Here's a better example. Okay, Prue was with this guy named Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, different Thomas. Yeah, baby. But see, this guy didn't like me too much because how close me and Prue were. And so what he do is he said, "I don't want you to hang out with her." Like I bought her this beautiful gold necklace that had a heart saying "Love" with the ruby in the middle. He told her, "Get rid of it. I don't see you wear that because it was from me." But the thing was, she put me first before him because of shit that he did. And you know what? Thomas did some stupid shit. He didn't like Prue that much. And so I was just like, you know, if you talk trash about Prue, I don't, you're gonna have to fucking leave. 
Because if you're not friends with, if you're not cool with Prue, then you can't be with me. That's my first thing. Because Prue's always been there in my life. And she's always gonna be there in my life. So it's like a family aspect. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it like is if you're gonna like be like, if you're gonna aspect. fuck my family over and talk shit about my family, I can't be with you. It's the same thing with her because she's part of my family. So if someone's talking shit about my sister, I'd be like, sorry, I can't be with you. You're talking shit about my sister. No. I'm sorry. Someone but says my shit about my mom, unless I say shit first. But like, I can say shit like, my mom's a bitch. But if someone else says my mom's a bitch, that's when I get bad. Oh yeah, I said I that a couple I, of times. I think that's common. I mean, wow. I think that's really common in all. But that's what I mean by putting her first. Is I put my family first before a relationship because yeah. my family is always going to be there for me. I like if it. I think about it, it's like the only person that I really consider my family, actually blood family, is my mom. So it's like I'm gonna put my mom first before any type of relationship. And if That's there's any saying. way, if there's any way I can actually have both, then most definitely I'm definitely gonna have both. I'm gonna have my cake and eat too, damn it. But can eat. I get some cake? No. no. But I mean, it's like in sometimes relationships, it's like sometimes. Are you videotaping this? I hate to say this. You videotaping this? Oh, I hate this. I hate it's, to say it's this. It's a, it's a, it's a new thing we started I, this semester. I hate to say this, but sometimes. Family can get in the way of your relationship. Yeah. Family, and not saying, not Hallelujah. sometimes, I say, I say, <laughs> I say 75% of most relationships are destroyed by family. Amen. And not saying because, and, and they always, and, and how family gets you when it comes to their relationships is this. This is what they do. Me and Sky are going out, right? Oh, hell, what? Okay, shut up. Okay. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. Oh, okay. Now, Shari is my sister. That's this one. But Shari don't like Sky. So what she gonna do is she gonna go this to Sky. <laughs> I got the negative. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, honey. She gonna go like this. Well, she always gonna choose me over you because I'm her blood family. Ooh. That's what families do all the damn time. Amen. They use that card so that to make you feel better. Blood bad. is thicker so, than water. Exactly. So that they can put you in a category of trying to make you choose so you have the obligation to choose between the person you want to be with and your family that has raised you or been with you since you were yay high my problem with that is is that i don't like to involve my very very close friends because if my close friends don't like the person that they ain't gotta like the person that i'm with they got i gotta like them I got to like them, and not you. you. Happy, more power to you exactly. To now, if you can't accept me for my decision, there's gonna be times where I don't want to put my family first because, especially if it's not their decision to make, then I'm gonna make the decision, not you. It's not. It's not all about family. Sometimes it's about yourself. If you can't even for once say, you know what, fam, I love you and everything, but this is my decision, and if you can't accept it. Then you need to just you just need to give me my space. And then looking like this, and you can reverse it. Now what if I was dating somebody and I didn't like you? Know, and you yeah. didn't like me. You didn't like. Me. All right. Well, what you gonna say to that? What you gonna do then? And then they gonna. But guess what? But guess what? You but don't gonna still. But you gonna still date that person? Ex ain't you? And then they go like this. Well, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, nigga. Uh, uh, uh. You know I'm right. okay. Then I'm right. Okay. I gotta say something about my family. Like my mom, and she doesn't like someone I'm with. And it's crazy that, that she brought that up. She accepted. She knows that last like my mom. Night. <laughs> like I saw like that last night. My mom knew <laughs> that she's like, you know, her and Chris aren't gonna last because just the way he is, they're not compatible, basically. My mom knows that, but she doesn't try to break us up. Mm -hmm. She'd sit there and she'd be like, okay, look, I don't like him. Look who's well, coming actually, back. Usually my mom's like, okay, my sister, my mom's like, okay, she's cool. She just let her live. They got scrap flavor. They got scrap. So what my mama does. So what my mama does is my mom just let. Just go in there and ask for some hot water. Go to Starbucks. I'm pretty sure they won't charge you because it's supposed to be free. Before she doesn't try to break Yeah. She waited until it ends before she says shit. Right then, that look, I don't like him because this, 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 and this. My but if he thank makes you, you happy, but but my, my but, but that, that big fat ass that juicy butt. butt. She's like, but you talking about Joseph? If okay. you're happy and if you like him and if he makes you happy, more power to you. This is gonna be so the longest says, video on our YouTube channel. She's like, she's like as long as you know. Let's the sky's little oh, singing and dancing. Yeah, my mom even said that to his face. She's like, look, we cool, but I think you you two should just remain being friends because I don't think you're good enough for my daughter. Damn. My mom's like that too. My mom said they. I'd hate to meet your mama. My, my mom mom just lets them. She says, says you can't come back to my house. Once you hurt my daughter, you can't come back in my house. You can't talk to me. My you mom's call my house, like. Hang up my on mom's you. the complete opposite. She's mom. just like my mom's the same. <laughs> it's the same as Shari and Sky's mom. It's like, sorry, um, she tell me right to my face after they leave. I don't like. Them. Point blank, period. 
And then if she really don't like them, she be like, you know what? I don't really think you're good enough for my daughter. My daughter has a lot of ideas and a lot of hopes, and I think you're gonna drag her down. So I don't think I don't think y'all just need to date anymore. And I'm looking like, God damn, this bitch is harsh. Like, <laughs> damn, my oh, mama did that. that was one time Chris left, and she goes, he stinks. He my mama will tell, tell you to my your mama my, mom, my, mom my mom will tell you to your face, nigga, you're saying you need to go take a bath. Shit. My mom, pull out, my mom dip like yourself breeze. no, dip yourself in bleach. You or wait, has, has your mama ever has your mom ever ever did this? Has she ever had someone at her house that sang and then once they left she got the Febreze out started? Yeah, <laughs> She was like, next time he comes over, this is before I broke up with him. Next time he come over, I'm gonna have him wash the car and accidentally spray him. And just oh pour my soap God. water on him. Whoops, I'm sorry. My mom yeah. was like, she said, next time we gonna get some, we gonna get, get some, some plastic water. covers and cover up the damn sofa and shit. <laughs> Act like Grandma Thelma's house. Be like, Grandma, no. And get, and get one of those, uh, those um, fucking air fresheners whenever there's movement. She, my mom says, I'm gonna walk right by it every time. Just, oh, hi, how are you? Watch. Hi, how are you? Watch. Have a space in hand. One time he came over and he wanted to hang out, 